Hello, Buns, and welcome back to Cinnabun Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. And welcome to the bunny diet series. I have done a ton of videos about so many bunny topics, but I think probably the most confusing bunny topic out there is a bunny's diet because it's really different than really most other animals. So in this series, I am going to break up what we call the bunny food pyramid. And we are going to go through each section of the pyramid each week until we have mastered all of the bunny's diet. So before we get into this, make sure you are subscribed so that you can keep up with the bunny food pyramid and figure out what we're learning about each week. And like this video if you love bunnies and wanna learn all about how to feed them properly. Today we are going to be starting with the bulk of that pyramid, which is what makes up the majority of their diet. So I realize that if you are watching this video, have seen the thumbnail and are reading the title, you already know what the reveal is, but just like pretend to be surprised when I reveal what it is. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So today we are going to be talking all about, Hey, that's right. Hay is not just for horses. Hay is for rabbits and it is actually 80% of your rabbit's diet. Rabbits should have access to hay all the time. So unlimited hay. One, their teeth never stop growing. So they need something to constantly be chewing on to help break down their teeth so their teeth don't get overgrown and just in a lot of pain. Two, rabbits have really sensitive digestive systems. They cannot regurgitate, which means they cannot throw up. Because of that, they need to make sure that their gut is always in tip top shape and ready to digest. Hay is filled with fiber and that fiber really helps break things down in your bunny's tummy and just keeps their gut moving. So pretty much the more hay your rabbit eats, the better their entire body is gonna work and their entire digestive system is going to work. But for most people, hay isn't exactly a common thing that we go out and buy and there's actually a lot of different types of hay. So today I am going to break down all of the main types of hay you're gonna see for rabbits and give my advice on what to feed, when to feed, how much, how much to feed, much. all of the things. Let's start with the most popular type of hay that if you have bunnies, if you have any experience with them, this is probably what you've encountered, Timothy hay. Timothy hay is the most popular type of hay you can get. It's just the most commonly produced. You can buy it pretty much at any pet store. Timothy hay is a coarse and thick hay and it's really high in fiber and low in protein. Now you might be thinking that low in protein doesn't doesn't sound good. But actually protein can be really fattening in rabbits. So for a thing that they're eating all the time, you want it to be low in protein, but high in that fiber, because again, gut, movement, poop all that stuff. It's also worth noting that Timothy hay is the type of hay that can produce those like golden poops that you might hear talking about. I actually have an entire video all about rabbit poop and the colors of their poop and what it all means. I'm gonna link it above here if you wanna learn more about that. But just know that Timothy hay is usually what tends to create that like golden rabbit poop. So while Timothy hay is awesome, you might be thinking, What's wrong with it? Why would I get anything else if this is like the gold standard? Well, the reason that it's not for everyone is because a lot of people are actually allergic to Timothy hay, myself included. Now, do not worry. I will share other options on this list that are more compatible for allergies. So don't worry about that. But for the most part, if you don't have an allergy, if you haven't noticed any issues there, Timothy hay is going to be your go-to hay. It's going to be probably the most affordable, most accessible, and it is going to keep your bunny nice and healthy. Now, when you're shopping for Timothy hay, you might come across a phrase called cuttings. And now cuttings, you're gonna see first cutting, second cutting, and third cutting. Think of it like this. Your first cutting is the first crop of hay cut that year. Second cutting is the second crop. Third cutting is the third crop. So it's really like when it's cut from the field in a year. When you're looking for hay, standard adult rabbits, you're gonna be looking for second cutting hay. This is known as like the gold standard of hay. Second cutting Timothy hay is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the high fiber, low protein hay. That's like the gold standard of Timothy hay that you're looking for. First cutting Timothy hay is like really, really coarse. It's so high in fiber that it's less appetizing for rabbits. And it's actually used for bunnies with chronic GI stasis, with teeth problems that they, 
that they really need to grind their teeth down and it's just less appetizing to bunnies. Now third cutting hay is like the least nutritious of all of them and this is actually used for bunnies that need to gain weight. So if you have a bunny that's been really sick and is just really underweight, it's more fattening because there's more protein in it. So it's less healthy, not really what you would be wanting. But if your bunny needs to gain some weight, maybe you would move from second cutting to third. It's also really good for rabbits who have really sensitive mouths. It's just softer hay so it's easier for them to chew. So while I don't normally buy first or third cutting, there are places for them to be used. Now back to that hay allergy. What do you do if you're allergic to Timothy hay? Well, you can try out orchard grass. Orchard grass is about identical to Timothy hay when it comes to the fiber content versus protein content. It is just a tiny bit higher in sugar, but not enough to actually make it a treat hay. So it is a perfectly great substitute. It's a little bit of a softer texture. So again, if your bunny is a little more sensitive, they might like orchard grass better. And it usually has shown to be less of an allergen for people than Timothy hay. So this is an awesome substitute if you find that you just get itchy whenever you're reaching your hands into the bag of hay with Timothy hay. I for one actually do a blend of Timothy hay and orchard grass for Cinnabon. I find that she really likes the combination of the softer orchard grass with the coarser Timothy. And for me with my allergies, having a little bit less Timothy hay is less overwhelming for me. And as long as I wash my hands right after getting her hay out, it doesn't bother me. Now let's talk about alfalfa hay. Alfalfa hay is known as like the baby bunny hay. <coughs> Technically, if we want to talk all scientific, which oh, I am not a scientist, this is a legume, not a hay or a grass, which is it's like a seed pod. I think like chickpeas and beans are also these as well. But for this video, we're going to put it under the general world of types of rabbit hay. Alfalfa is super, super high in protein. So again, it's really fattening. Alfalfa is also really high in calcium and rabbits should not consume too much calcium because that can lead to bladder issues. Baby bunnies, this is not really a concern because they are growing so quickly and they need need those nutrients, but once your rabbit is grown, the extra protein and the extra calcium usually aren't good for a standard healthy adult rabbit. Alfalfa hay is perfect for baby bunnies because they are growing, they are building muscle, they're building up their bones, and it just helps fatten them up and get them nice and strong. You should not be feeding alfalfa to a bunny that's over six months of age unless your vet says so. If your bunny is recovering from a surgery, if they're really underweight, if you're just trying to get them to eat, these are times when alfalfa could be really useful. Useful. Also for senior rabbits as well, who it's just harder for them to hold on to weight. But for the most part, alfalfa should be removed from your bunny's diet once they turn six months of age. Now alfalfa hay is really, really yummy for them. They love it. So a lot of bun parents have a hard time transitioning their baby bunnies from alfalfa to Timothy hay. They'll switch out the alfalfa, put the Timothy hay in, and suddenly their rabbit is on a hunger strike. What I recommend for that is to do this transition so slowly over a couple of months. So when you bring home your baby rabbit, just feed them that alfalfa hay, it's all they need. But once they start to get about 10, 12 weeks of age, start to add a little more grass hay in, so a Timothy or orchard grass, and remove a little bit of alfalfa. So they're still getting that alfalfa to help them grow, but they're starting to be introduced to the Timothy. And over time, add more Timothy hay in, reduce the alfalfa until they hit six months of age and they're only having that grass hay, the Timothy or orchard grass. Up next, I wanna talk about meadow hay, which actually isn't a specific type of hay, but it's more of a blend. Some pet stores will sell meadow hay, which is really just grass from meadows that has been turned to hay, dried, and so it can be different types of grass. Meadow hay is hard to describe as high in fiber, high in protein or whatever, because every single batch is different. Imagine just going out into a meadow and just picking random grass. So you're just kind of getting what you get. But it's a really good hay to mix in with your Timothy or orchard grass just to add a little bit of extra texture and to add a little more forage. Let's talk about oat hay. Now oat hay isn't really a grass hay. It's oat, wheat, or barley, and it's really, really rich in nutrients and is high in fiber. It's also pretty low in protein, so you might be thinking, wow, that sounds like it's good for my bunny. But not really, because these types are actually much higher in fat, so it's really tasty for your bunny but not as healthy. I usually recommend bunnies who just are not interested in eating their Timothy or orchard grass to have oat hay mixed in with that hay, just to add that extra fiber, to add that taste in, but not to replace the grass hay completely. The oats on top are almost like an extra treat for your bunny, so while they're foraging in their hay, when they come across that oat, it's like, Oh my gosh, there could be more treats. So they'll be more inclined to dig around and eat more hay in search of more oat heads. And now the last type of hay I wanna talk about is herbal hay. 
the everlasting debate of herb versus herb. Herbal, herbal. I say herbal, comment down below which one you say. Herbal hay is usually just a Timothy hay base, but it is mixed with botanicals. So like florals, and lavender, rose, dandelion, chamomile, all of those like naturally occurring botanicals. Now to you, that might not sound super yummy, but to a bunny, flowers are such a treat. So if you mix flowers in with their hay, they are going to be so interested in going into their hay, foraging and eating it, and it is the best. This is the perfect hay to purchase for a bunny who is just uninterested in eating their hay. So you could have a big bag of Timothy, fill your bunny's little litter box with their hay, and then grab a few handfuls of the botanical hay and sprinkle that in and mix it up they're gonna love it. And there you go, that is everything that you need to know as a rabbit owner about hay. I hope that you found this video super useful and I hope you're walking away just feeling like a hay expert. It can be confusing and especially for people who have never taken care of bunnies before, all of the different types can be overwhelming, but I hope that this was a nice and helpful guide for you. Make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss any more episodes in our diet series and we'll see you next week for the next part of the pyramid. See you later, buns.